All right. Hi, everyone. Welcome to this timingresearch.com special event, again, with uh, Eric Gebhardt of AltaVest. And his topic for today is five algo-generated option strategies that you can use immediately. So we are recording this at uh, uh, on Thursday, July 18th at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. And uh, just a reminder, this presentation is for educational purposes only. Trading is not suitable for all people. And please consult a financial advisor and only trade with money you can afford to lose. Also, this is being recorded and will be available on timingresearch.com as soon as I can get it processed after the event. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Eric. All right, great. Thank you, David. And thanks, everyone, for joining us this morning. And we're going to look at these five option strategies and how our proprietary algorithm will automatically generate these trades for you, as well as manage them for risk and profit, if that's something you choose. And we're going to look at our trade alert technology as well, allows you to respond to an alert with just one touch. And this does not require any babysitting or screen watching. So keep in mind, we are speculating. And every time we speculate and take a risk, there's uh, well, there's always a risk when you speculate is what I'm trying to say. So whenever there's profit, there is risk. So do take a look at that risk disclosure. And you can screen capture that if you'd like, but really all funds committed when trading should be risk capital and past performance is never a guarantee of future results. A little bit about AltaVest. We've been a brokerage firm since 1997, traded millions of contracts along the way. That's uh, yours truly there with some of our staff uh, as well on the S&P 500 options trading pit that was in Chicago. And a lot of that doesn't look anything like that anymore. It doesn't even really exist because the algorithms have taken over and the machines, as they say. Uh, we are the creator of the Dragonfly option strategy as well as our proprietary order uh, execution technology. So again, contracts have been uh, We've been trading clients uh, with clients for decades now, millions of contracts along the way. Uh, we're a member of the NFA registered with the CFTC and we're located in California. A little bit about myself. I've been doing this since 1991 is when I first became licensed with my series three license. And uh, that would be after graduating from University of Southern California with my BS in business administration. I've had some securities licenses in the past, my Series 6 mutual fund, annuities, currently have my Series 3 commodity futures and options license, as well as the Series 65, which is the uh, investment advisor license. So we're going to look at emotions and why it's difficult to, to compete with algorithms. JP Morgan estimates systematic trading is over 90% of U.S. equity trading volume. So we're competing against machines most of the time. So how can we use these machines and these algos to trade professional style option strategies? So the answer is yes, we can. And we can do this hopefully like other large institutions might do it, our hedge funds and large money managers and even insurance companies. So how would they approach trading options? Well, you know what they do in their existing business model, and that's because you end up paying premiums to them. So they get paid the premiums to assume risk. They sell and manage time, but they always insure themselves along the way with hedges. They're consistent and they're patient. Uh, they have a process along the way using probabilities and math that are favorable for uh, longer term outcomes. So they're using statistics, actuarials, just simple number crunching, although it's always not that simple, but it is math. And they're looking at the odds in their favor. This image here kind of made me laugh. So that's kind of what we're trying to do with options trading is tilt those odds in our favor. So we can collect option premium as well, just like an insurance company might. And some of the option strategies for premium collection you, of course, need to always manage your risk and reward, not get greedy along the way. You'll need experienced people to help you, to guide you. You'll need the correct tools and automation because it could be overly complicated. And 
we're, we're looking for lots of base hits over time. We're not looking for that one grand slam trade when you're collecting premium and trading options in this manner. And these are called short option strategies for premium collection. And here's even better news. They can be non-directional bullish or bearish strategies. So you can find a strategy for any situation and every outcome is targeted with a fixed risk in advance. So you know what your maximum reward and your maximum risk would be in advance. Before we go a little deeper into the demo, let's learn some Greek. How about some Greek letters? And if you know this, it's uh, going to go quickly. And if you don't know it, we're going to make it real simple for you. So how would you determine probabilities on any given option? Well, that's known as the delta. And it represents the uh, how much does the option value change with a change in the underlying index. And we'll look at an example, but option traders look at that as the approximate probability of that option expiring in the money. And what am I talking about? Well, here's an example. If there's a delta of 0.25 on an option, that means there's a 25% chance it will expire in the money. However, conversely, there's a 75% chance that it would expire worthless. And remember, delta is always moving. This number is always moving as prices and time move as well. It's not a static number. And this is important too. It is not the probability of a winning trade. And then here's the other Greek letter we're going to look at, uh, theta. And when you're talking about options, theta is really um, keeping in mind that options are a wasting asset, meaning they have limited life. Every option has an expiration date. And when you refer to theta, that's really referencing time. It's a negative number and equals one day of time decay. So every day lost um, is in reference to theta. So if an option is at 10 points, then you'll see Theta here, negative 0 0.05. And that means the next day, the premium from 10 drops to 9.95. And the premium after that drops to 9.90. Then it would be 9.85, so on and so forth, uh, all things remaining equal. So time basically slips away from every option, whether you're long or short or bought or sold it. And you can see here. As you approach time zero, the value of that option drops and drops and drops in terms of uh, the time decay. So that's called theta decay. Now, Wall Street professional traders, they use multi-leg option spreads to collect premium. So we're not talking about selling naked options. These are covered spreads. So how about five strategies or spreads that you could immediately put to use? Let's look at a few examples here. And then we're going to jump into the live demo of the software solution. So here's selling a call spread. You could be bearish, you could be moderately bullish, uh, or even just have no particular outlook and be non-directional. This might make more sense on the graph. So here's the call spread you're selling. You know, here's, let's assume the market hasn't traded yet and the market's trading here and you sell this out of the money call spread. You can see here it's bouncing around and it drops, it rallies, it drops, it rallies again, and it stays below this threshold here. And in this case, you've collected a net premium of two and a quarter points. You sell the red line, you put that money in your pocket, four and a half points, and then you buy the blue strike price there, but you pay money for that. But the net result is you collect two and a quarter points, $112 and 50 cents. In this example, minus any commissions and so forth. So you collect that premium and you look for the market to stay below uh, really that upper boundary there. And it works the same way with a put spread, just sort of the inverse. You can see here, you're selling this out of the money put spread and you look for the market to stay above this area here. And it did. And now how about a non-directional example? This is called an iron condor strategy. And it's just a combination of the put and the call spread that you saw. And again, we'll jump into a little more detail in a minute in the live demo. So here's a condor. You sell an out-of-the-money call spread. 
and you sell an out of the money put spread and you collect premium on both sides of that trade. And the reason you would do that is you expect the market to stay within this wide range here. And then what happens would, would be after theta decay works its magic. And if the market hasn't moved too far one way or the other too quickly, what would happen is you can see here over time, the market's trading lower, trading higher, lower, higher. And it's really just kind of chopping around in this range. And then right here, you see you get this blue arrow and this blue dot. And that's a blue profit taking signal. And this can be automated and I'll show you how to do that. But what will happen here is as enough time has passed, the value of that spread has diminished. So you've sold it for a certain price and now you buy it back for a lower price or buy it back for what you received, less than what you received. And that's the whole idea or the whole point of these premium collection spreads. You sell them and then you try to buy them back and cover them for less than what you sold them for. And then here's the dragonfly. This is our proprietary strategy. It is six legs where you collect premium. It's a variation on the condor. So let's take a look at that. This is trade number four. <laughs> We're looking here. We're going to cover five of these. Now this looks a little bit complicated and I'll show you in the live demo, but it's not as complex as you might imagine, especially with the help of the algorithm that does it for you. But you sell four calls, you buy three further out of the money calls, and then you buy one closer to the money call, and you have that same structure on the puts. Selling four, that's the red line, you buy three further out of the money puts, and then one closer to the money put. And you'll notice the put that you buy here is 50 points closer to the money compared to the ones that you've sold. And then the call that you purchase here is 50 points closer to the money compared to the four that you have sold. And so what that will do for you is create a totally different risk reward dynamic on this particular strategy where, where you'll be allowed to stay in trades perhaps longer because you are closer to the money and the delta is higher on these puts and these calls and you own them and theta decay won't impact them as much. So it can be more robust and act as an additional layer or level of uh, protection or insurance or as a hedge when you buy this call and you buy this put. So we're gonna show you in just a second, but let's follow this one here through. So what happens to that trade after theta decay? In this example, the market kind of chopped around here and you can see at this point, we had a signal, the blue RTI indicator, that's the risk thermal indicator. And it gave a profit take, taking signal right here. So you sold it here, collected premium, the market went sideways, they did a K worked, and you were able to buy back that dragonfly for less money than what you uh, initially received for it. There are unique bullish and bearish strategies too, of course. And here's one example. You can do something called a bull hedge or a bear hedge. And really, the best way to look at this would be with an example. This would be a bull hedge. And what we're doing here is you buy an out-of-the-money call spread. So you do a debit spread or you pay money for that spread. But to pay for it or finance it, you sell an out-of-the-money put spread at the same time. So the money you receive for selling this out-of-the-money put spread will pay for and oftentimes totally cover the cost of the out of the money call spread that you buy. And if the market moves higher and higher, like in this example, the call spread you own will gain in value and the put spread that you sold to someone else will lose value. So you end up doing well on both sides of that trade in this particular example. All right. Now we're going to get ready to jump into the live demo, but be sure to stick around because what we're going to do is we're going to actually run through a live trade alert and I'll show you how to respond with just one touch to a live trade alert. And this is kind of a brief preview of that where you'll receive a trade alert, whether it's email or your smart device or text, and to accept it, you would just touch that green 
button there to accept it or reject it. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. So be sure to stick around for that. But more importantly, you might be thinking to yourself, how would you even go about creating these particular spreads? You know, which markets are you applying these spreads to? And are you buying them? Are you selling them? You know, which strategy would you apply? And really, in terms of the timing, what's the correct price? And then once you're into a trade, how do you manage the risk and the profits? Well, that answer is ThetaTrader. So these are pre-built option strategies. Our proprietary algo will create Theta trades on a daily basis. These are one-touch uh, responsive trade alerts as well. That's part of Theta Trader for any market condition. And we can use automation to then manage the risk and the profit taking with that RTI. So what I'm going to do right now, let me go ahead and switch screens. I'll stop the video, give us more room on the screen. All right, so now you're looking at the dashboard for Theta Trader. Let me go ahead and drill down and kind of walk you through Theta Trader here. This is a demo account that I use for webinars. So if you have a Theta Trader account, it will look almost identical to this, except some of the menu items along the top would be different. That's the only difference. And you'll notice here, at the very top, you'll see active trade alerts, and we'll get back to that in just a moment. But you'll see here are the Theta trades. This is your Theta trade section. Here are your open, short, or sold positions. And below it are any open, bought, or long positions, basically debit spreads. You'll see here to the right your account info that's interconnected with your trading account and um, with AltaVest, we are the brokerage firm. This is our technology. So you have an account with AltaVest to be able to work with ThetaTrader. You see any current price quotes here. And what I'll do is we'll start off here and you'll notice there are bullish strategies that are pre-listed or pre-populated. There are bearish strategies and there are neutral or non-directional. And we're looking at three different markets, the E-mini, S&P 500, NASDAQ, 100 mini and the Russell 2000 mini. And the reason why we're focused on these three is first of all, they're all stock indexes. And so they're going to be less volatile than of course, individual um, markets or especially you know individual stocks. And also this is where all the volume and liquidity is. And I'll show you more detail about that, but really this is where you get your um, strike price availability and your best execution in our opinion. And that's according to some studies as well. And what we'll do here is we'll jump in, we'll look at the E-mini S&P 500 and let's take a look at a condor. So these are the condors that the algorithm has selected today and sort of served them up for us as, a, as being on our menu. So anywhere from 16 days to 65 days till expiration, you have all these different uh, expirations available. And you'll notice the strike prices are already pre-selected. And then you'll notice here, this is your maximum uh, profit potential at expiration on any one trade. And this would be your targeted annualized return at expiration. You'll notice the trades that have the fewest amount of time or the least amount of days till expiration will have a higher TAR. And that's simply, um, that's just simply because it just assumes every 16 days, if you make a max profit, then you would just roll that trade over every 16 days. And for the year, this would be your result. But this really is not a realistic number, folks. Just it's there to compare one theta trade to another. That's why it is here. So just want to point that out. So we'll go ahead and look at this September week three. I just typically pick the expiration with the most amount of time when I do these demos. And the first thing I like to do is look at a graph. So this gives you perspective and context as to what we're trying to do here. You're selling this out of the money call spread. 
and simultaneously selling this out of the money put spread. So that's what it looks like. And you'll notice here the uh, particulars, I won't go into each one, but the settlement value, two and a quarter, the gross premium, put risk, call risk, commission, capital, cash required, profit potential, the targeted return on cash, and then that targeted annualized return. One thing I'll point out, cash required is 908.50 and your profit potential is 91.50. And oftentimes the question we, we might get is, so I'm going to need $900 to try to make $91. That seems sort of um, an asymmetrical or unfavorable outlook or outcome. Well, here is why the algorithm selected this particular trade in these strikes. The puts here, the 5150 strike that are being sold, they have a delta of 9.98. So that's over a 90% probability, according to the delta, that these options, this strike price will expire out of the money to someone else. So you're selling this option to someone else and they're paying a premium and you collect that premium. And then the call option here, 6.76 del delta. So that means there's over a 93% probability that the calls that are being sold to someone else will expire out of the money. So that is why the algorithm is selecting these particular strikes. And you'll notice it always defaults to a sell when you're selling a condor. And you can change the quantity here. You notice your cash required goes up and down accordingly. And this cash required figure here really is just to cover the maximum risk on the trade. So if you know, the world were to end, uh, your risk would still be covered. That's why for every option you sell, you buy in a, a, uh, a, an option as well as an additional hedge. So these are coverage strategies. So we'll go ahead and do, why don't we do just five of these? We'll leave the number there at two and a quarter, trying to collect that amount of money or two and a quarter points. Every point is $50. And as a demo account, just assume you're filled. Now let's go back and we'll look at a dragonfly. Just takes a moment. So here we go. Here is a dragonfly. And we'll just pick this uh, September end of month expiration. And while it's thinking here, I'll point out too that dragonflies compared to condors, you'll notice the targeted annualized return percentage wise is less typically than a condor. And that makes a lot of sense because if you look at the graph and the structure, you actually end up buying this call. It's 50 points closer to the money than the four you sell. And you end up buying this put here. And it's also 50 points closer to the money compared to the four puts you sell. So you pay money for this extra call and, and put here. And that acts as an additional level or layer of insurance or hedge or protection against this trade not to say the trade can't ever lose money, but it does cost you a little bit of money. And that's why the targeted annualized returns on the dragonfly are a bit less, but there's benefit to the dragonfly. And I'll show you that in just a second. And you'll notice the same type of thing here with the table and all the details, but you can see the cash required almost $4,700 per dragonfly. And that's because each dragonfly is selling four puts and four calls. If you did two dragonflies, it would be selling eight puts and eight calls and so on and so forth. So your quantity is uh, four times greater compared to a condor. Your profit potential, of course, um, is higher because there's more options. So $303. And then here are the, the metrics here. But you notice on the puts and the calls, again, you have these deltas, 9.5, 5.9. So you have a 90 one and a half percent probability that these puts that are being sold by you will expire out of the money. And then look at the calls here, over a 94% probability that the calls that are being sold would expire out of the money. So we'll go ahead and change this quantity. Let's see here, we'll go two of these. 
and we'll just place that order. And just that simple. Now let me show you the difference and the distinction between the condor and the dragonfly. And we can do that up here. There's something called a trade simulator or backtesting engine, kind of a time machine. I've loaded a couple of simulations. Let me squeeze this down so you can see the screen better. So this first one here is an iron condor placed on February 8. We can use these controls down here to go forward in time. We can go backward in time, step at a time. You could go back to the end or all the way to the end. But just for demonstration, let's go ahead and play this. And I'll explain what's happening along the bottom. So here you can see day by day is, is occurring. And the trade here is a little bit profitable, a little bit negative. And this is all green. And the green RTI means do nothing. Um, computer's telling you, do nothing with the trade. Let theta decay continue to work. So, so far, so good. The trade's kind of just um, maintaining itself, really, as theta decay is causing it to lose value. It's starting to move a little higher, but still, the RTI is not concerned. It's still green still green and then it <clears throat> turns blue so what does blue mean well it means take profits so with four days remaining till expiration the rti gave you a profit taking signal and you can automate this so that you don't have to monitor it yourself theta trader is scanning your account and monitoring everything for you and when it turns blue it will submit the order for you automatically to take profits. And we'll show you how to set that up. It's just really a matter of one click. Now, keep this in mind. That was with four days till expiration, you had a profit order. So here's a dragonfly and it's the same day, same end of month, March expiration. But instead of doing a condor, perhaps you did a dragonfly trade that day. So here on February 8th, let's watch what happens. All looks kind of similar with, you know, obviously it's the same price action here. But down here, the RTI is green. And trade's profitable. The P&L here is green. And then look at this. It turns blue with 14 days till expiration. So compared to the Condor, it didn't take a profit. Um, it had to wait with four days till expiration, but the dragonfly matured much more quickly, uh, 10 days earlier. So you were able to close this trade out, or at least the order was placed to cover that position, close it out, buy it back. And 10 days in advance of say having the condor. So that's the big advantage where this call that you own right here pays off for you because you own it in the Delta is higher compared to the ones that you've sold. So it's actually going to gain in value more rapidly and you own it. So it's going to benefit this position overall. And also Theta Decay won't impact it as much um, when you're closer to the money. Let's look at another example here. Here is a June expiration iron condor placed on April 29. And you can see sometimes it turns yellow. That means your risk is elevated, but still do nothing. Yellow again, and then it turns red. So with five days till expiration, the red means too much risk, and it would submit an order to close out that position for you and buy it back, and you'd end up taking a loss on that position. So that was with the condor. Now, however, if that same day you had placed a dragonfly, let's see what would have happened. So you can see it's turning uh, green, RTI is good, do nothing. And then it turns blue. So you get a profit taking order with 23 days till expiration. So that order would be triggered and it's giving you a signal to take profits. The trade has matured enough. So instead of 
being in a condor and actually taking a loss on a position, had you done a dragonfly, in this case, um, it would have been a profitable trade. Now, it's not to say dragonflies don't ever lose money, but I'm just trying to compare, give you a distinction sometimes between a condor and a dragonfly. And it's not to say we don't ever do condors, but just want to point out that the condor can be more, uh, the dragonfly can be more robust in certain market situations and it can take profits earlier compared to a condor. But the trade-off is, as we saw um, earlier, the simple trade-off between the dragonfly and the condor is, you know, your targeted annualized return, your profit potential on a dragonfly is always going to be a little bit less compared to a condor. So that's the trade-off there. All right, so there's one other simulator I wanted to run by you here. And remember, we looked at the bear hedge and the bull hedge. And here's an example from April 1st. In this case, uh, we're looking at a bear hedge. So you sell this out of the money call spread. And with the money you received, you buy an out of the money put spread. And if the market starts to drop quickly enough in magnitude and a high enough uh, to a high enough degree, um, then this trade should be doing well for you. So Here's an example where this trade works out. So you can use like a bear hedge if you have a portfolio and you want to maybe uh, hedge some of that uh, against a, a, a drawdown in the broader stock market, or you can just be very specific with an index. But you know you can you can see here how these can work out, and if it doesn't work out, if it goes the other way then you'd have to then simply just cover uh, this short call spread that you sold and then buy it back and most likely buy it back for a loss. So, But oftentimes you can do these trades, whether it's a bear hedge or bull hedge uh, for even money where it doesn't cost you to actually place the trade. So really great stuff, a lot of flexibility with all the different strategies as you see that bullish, bearish, non-directional. We just looked at them S&P 500, but of course, there's the NASDAQ and the Russell 2000 for some diversification among the indexes because the indexes don't always correlate and move together like they should. Now, what I want to do here is at this point in our webinars, oftentimes people ask and they'll put stuff in the chat and they'll want to know more about using ThetaTrader and how to get started. So here I want to show you this right now. We have this QR code that you can use. And it'll take you right to the order form to become a lifetime Theta Trader member. It is our lowest price ever of only $4.97. It, it's available for the first 25 people signing up. And that's a special offer made um, possible via timing research. And here's the link, the sign up link as well. That's my direct phone number and email. So take a screenshot of this page. Um, and we'll also put that in the chat, this link. And the QR code is a really fun thing to use as well for these types of uh, events and take you right to the order form with more details. And there's also a 30 day guarantee on that as well. So I wanted to make sure you had this right now, but there's still more to show you. So what I wanted to show you as well is how to do the automation. So you go under settings under my account here And you go to activate risk manager and you would just check that button. And this is the risk manager for the RTI. And I'll also point out here, this is a great feature. Right now, the risk level is set for the red default level and that's at 0.5 Delta, but you can also modify it. If you want your trades to be a little bit less aggressive perhaps, and to close out trades a little bit earlier for slightly smaller loss, then you'd use the orange risk level, or you can customize it. So you can customize it anywhere from 0.5 down to 0.25. And just remember, if you go down to 0.25 compared to 0.38 or 0.50, that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just different in terms of you'll take more losses more often and they'll be smaller. That's the difference compared to the default level. The default level here at 0.5, um, you'll have fewer losses, but they'll be larger.
when you do take them. So you'll just go ahead and save your settings here. And that's just that simple. This is the automation. Theta Trader scans the account for you. And then your profit directive here. Theta Trader is also scanning for profits. And then you just save your settings. And it's just that simple. And here's also a brief explanation on the glossary and the help file on the color coding on how the RTI works for long and short positions. Here's a brief explanation of all the strategies if you want more details on that. I'm just kind of showing you our daily research, something called TradeScope. We do this each day, a bit of analysis on the markets and the, the indexes that we're following and then what to look for going ahead, and maybe some different research providing context, what to look for with interest rates, so on and so forth. Here's something called our daily commentary. So I'm basically the one who puts this together most of the time, where you look at what happens overseas in Europe and in Asia and in the US and looking ahead here, what's on the calendar, anything on the economic calendar, so this is a uh, really very useful. People like this because it's all here on one page. All right, so that is the general idea with Theta Trader. Let me go back and show you real quickly here, and then I'm going to show you more about that trade alert here in just a second. But you can look at all your closed positions and open positions on one page. So right now you see on the dashboard all your open short positions and open bot positions here, uh, or you can look at them on just one page here. So I'll just click to uh, that page and show you. It takes just a minute of time. Somehow the, I'm not sure why, but somehow when I'm doing the webinars, it seems to be a little slower. All right, so you can see here all the open positions here on one page. You can see all the RTIs and what they're currently reading. And it's perfectly normal for a lot of trades to have open um, profit that's uh, or loss that's showing red. And that's because when you place these trades, when you're selling premium, you need theta decay to actually uh, work. And that means some days on the calendar have to tick away. And then here are closed positions. So it's normal when you place a condor or a dragonfly, it's probably going to be negative for several days because theta decay has to have some time to work. Here's uh, closed positions. You can see on this page here, you can filter any way you want. There's 20 on the page. There were 14 winners, six losers. Um, this makes a lot of sense. Out of the uh, 13 short spreads, 10 were winners and three were losers. Um, let's take a look here. And then the long positions here. So this this is just for the demo account. You can see I just randomly pick orders. I'm not putting any thought into this. So I wouldn't really make too much of the results here. I just want to show you how to do this, looking at your closed positions. If you want to look at any one trade in particular, you can see I just clicked on a condor. And you can kind of go back in time. You can see it's highlighted here. Placing that trade on May 22, got out on June 25. And there's what it looked like. So that's kind of the history of that trade. And you can see in this example, like I mentioned, when you place the trade, it's going to typically be red for several days until theta decay really starts to, to work. And here you can see it's starting to work here. And then you get the blue RTI and the orders placed to cover that position. All right, now here is what I wanted to uh, really show you. I mean, it just keeps getting better, I think. <laughs> um, with all the little features and so forth, but you're gonna love these trade alerts. And here is what I kind of referred to 15 minutes ago or so. So you wanted to stick around and watch this. So you can see here on the dashboard, when you log in, if there's any active trade alerts that were sent to you, you'll see them listed on your dashboard. You'll also receive them via email and on your smart device. But for now, let me just show you how to do this. You would just click view.
and it's going to pull up an image of the trade. And in this case, it's a Russell 2000 call spread. It has 23 days till expiration. We're selling this call spread. The fever is finally breaking in the Russell 2000 after its largest five-day move versus the large cap Russell 1000 ever in history. So selling this out of the money call spread, here's the current market. Here's the expiration, this vertical purple line. And the quantity is already pre-selected for you whenever you receive an alert because um, it's going to be tailored and custom to you and your account and your balance. And also you're not going to receive trade alerts that are redundant and that overlap with any existing positions. So you can see the quantity here pre-selected, but you can change it by, you can only lower it though if you want. You can't go higher than what uh, was initially sent to you. So you're selling 20 of these call spreads. You're trying to collect $1,990. Here's your cash required, 23 days till expiration. So the idea is that you sell these call spreads, collect your premium, and then uh, as Theta Decay works, um, you'll cover those and hopefully buy those back for quite a bit less than what you sold them for. So we'll go ahead and just accept, well, why don't we be different? We'll just do 18 as a quantity just for the heck of it. And we'll accept that. And there it is, it just shows up as being filled. It's just that simple. So that's really great stuff. People love those alerts. And I'll show you really probably, what I think is probably the best feature of all is getting these on your, your phone. So let me show you that in just a second here. But before I wrap up the demo here within Theta Trader, I uh, just also want to point out that you can also build your own trades because I know sometimes people ask about that, but I think it kind of defeats the whole purpose of using the algo to do the work for you. And then also you can modify a trade. So any Theta trade uh, that's available any given day, for example, you could just pick any one of these here. And you'll notice that you can change the strike prices. And if you change the strike prices and you get um, these error messages, that's simply because um, strike prices are not there. You've chosen a strike price that doesn't exist. But in any case, just wanted to show you how flexible it is. And, you know, of course, there are bullish and bearish strategies as well. You know, maybe you think um, maybe you, you have an idea on, I don't know, maybe you're bullish. Uh, maybe you're bullish on the S&P and here's a bull hedge and you could place a bull hedge. This one has 35 days till expiration or you could simply buy a call spread. You could sell a put spread. You could buy a condor. So all of this is available here. I can't get into all the details. We don't have time, but I'll just go ahead and skip over to really, I think, What's the best feature of all, really, the variation on the trade alert that you just saw? Let me switch screens here. Okay, so you saw the trade alert on the dashboard within Theta Trader, but you also receive these on your smart device. So they'll be one touch responsive with that accept or reject. And it, again, these alerts are live, meaning they're integrated with your AltaVest trading account. So to place the order, you simply just touch your screen. And here's what it will look like. You'll get a, uh, you'll receive a text message with a link. You'll touch that link. And you'll receive the graph, just like we saw and a brief explanation of the trade. In this case, it's a condor. And you can see here the premium you're trying to collect, the cash required, the quantity here pre-selected for you, pre-populated, selling 10 at a price of 265. And you can also, again, just like you saw, you can change the quantity. Uh, and by going down in quantity, you can't add more risk, but you could certainly go down in quantity if you chose. 
and you have 71 days till expiration. Here's your targeted annualized return, current price. You can tell this a few years ago, but works basically the same. I need to get a new video. <laughs> anyway, so how great is that? It's all you have to do to accept a trade alert. So very user-friendly. All the information you need to make a decision on that trade is there for you. The risk, the reward, the quantity, a graph of the trade. And there you have it. That's what it looks like. So again, just to reiterate how to become a Theta Trader member, all the benefits of your lifetime membership, you get the Theta Trader software, which is everything that you've just seen, including all the Theta trades, the RTI automation, the trade simulator with the back testing. That software is valued at over $3,500. And then you have the trade alerts. You just saw the dashboard trade alert, how we accepted it uh, when you log into your dashboard, or you can do the same thing uh, on your smart device, or it'll come to you via email. It comes in all those different ways. And once you accept an alert, you can't continue to accept the same alert. Uh, just so you know, there's, um, there's no way to double accept an alert. So all these trades are integrated with your account. Each trade you receive is specific and unique to you and your account. And then from there, the RTI can then automatically manage all the trades for you, whether it, it hits that blue or the red RTI, or you can customize that RTI. $4,400 value on those trade alerts, the most unique trade alerts you've ever seen. I think I can, I think it's fair to say I've never seen trade alerts that are integrated with your account, and I've been looking for them. <laughs> so Theta Trader and the alerts valued at over $8,000. And this is what really sets it apart beyond all those great technological tools is us. You have private coaching and mentor. We're licensed, we're experienced doing this for decades. So you'll have us available to do screen sharing sessions, uh, kind of work with you as your co-pilot. You can discuss your account, your goals, your, your approach to trading, what you'd like to get out of it, your strategy that you're looking to apply, review your trade history valued at least $7,500. I know people spend $25,000 on education. Nothing wrong with that, but we provide what you need with Theta Trader. It's all part of your membership. So the software, the alerts, and the coaching valued at over $15,500. And then don't forget our proprietary research. People really like to lean into the trade scope and the daily commentary. That's available only for Theta Trader members. $2,900 value. And then we have those online video tutorials. I briefly showed some of that, but everything you need to know about Theta Trader and options spreads is available within Theta Trader as video tutorials. So to summarize your membership, all of that $18,500 value. And like you saw uh, 10, 15 minutes ago when I showed you the QR code, of course, it's not going to be that price. We did $39.97 or $4,000 when we did in-person events. So, and it's not that price either. So this is for the first 25 signups, our lowest price ever. And that's not just hyperbole. <laughs> $4.97, that's the timing research discount. So here's that link again. And that's a lifetime member, $4.97. So you can take a picture of that use that QR code and just take a picture of it with your phone. And here's the link as well. That's my direct line and email. So here's the simple uh, order form. And here's 30 day money back guarantee. So you sign up, become a member and if something changes your mind in 30 days, let us know, we'll send you a refund. Uh, no trouble at all with that. If you want a free membership, people love taking us up on this, um, $100,000 or more account, you'll get a 100% rebate. And then 50,000 to 99, 99.99, <laughs> you get a 50% rebate on your membership fee. So you can make this a free membership if you have 100,000 or more. And then I see some chats coming in. And if there's any other comments or questions, yeah, we've got the link in there. So be sure to put your 
comments and questions and whatnot inside the chat there. Someone asked, how did you do today? I'm not sure if you want to go ahead and ask me uh, a specific question, but <laughs> I don't know really how to respond to that. But ask me a specific question or call me another time. And here are some FAQs. Tax efficiency. Did you know that you can lower your tax rate with futures options trades? Because they're efficient. They're treated uh, as 1256 contracts, according to the IRS. And here's an example, a $100,000 account. You get a 20% return trading options with futures. So your tax rate here and your internal rate of return compared to individual stocks, you save over $2,000. And that's because 60% of those gains are taxed at the lower capital gains tax rate. So that's the distinction there. So tax efficient, no more itemizing trades. So you just get a 1099 with your P&L. So always consult your tax attorney. An IRA, yes, we can do that. People transfer those to us uh, every week. So contact us about that. And why the E-minis? Well, they're liquid, they're efficient, they're cost-effective, uh, large market share, densely packed strike prices, and 100 annual expirations ensure granularity and coverage. And ultimately, that results in superior execution on these spreads, according to the CME group, the ES options save you 4 to $15 per contract compared to SPX. So you've got that tight bid offer spread. That's what they're referring to in that wide array of maturities and deep liquidity. So what that hap what that means is if Theta Trader, the algo is searching for strike prices with so much depth and liquidity, it's going to find what it needs. So here's a set of calls and puts. And as time goes by, here's another set of calls and puts. And more time goes by more calls, more puts, and so on and so forth. So that's called granularity. Now here's a real big uh, distinction between what we're doing and anyone else. This is very important. If you're trading a dragonfly with us, notice how we just placed one order at one price. We did not leg in with two separate orders. And with stocks, if you're trying to do a dragonfly on a stock option, you can't. You can't do it as one order at one price. You have to break up that spread as two different orders. And then you have to leg in and leg out. It's very inefficient. And Theta Trader, you know, we give you that immediate access to sophisticated options strategies. If you compare it to the retail stock options trader, um, this woman here on CNBC says most retail investors only have access to basic call and put options and they don't have access to option spreads or more sophisticated strategies. So Theta Trader gives you that access to sophisticated strategies. And it's important because remember, professionals are not just option buyers. That's how rookies trade options. If you only buy stock options, then time and Theta is working against you. And so here she is again, and this is a great little video I found. She makes some good points, but she says the appeal for retail investors to buy options is that they're much cheaper, but your potential for profit is actually not that high. So what she's referring to is, is the probabilities and the deltas. If you're always buying options uh, that we kind of looked at there in Theta Trader, and you're buying the options that we're selling, your probability uh, is very, very low that those options are going to uh, expire in the money on your behalf. So in 2021, 11% of Robinhood active users made options trades, but of that 11%, fewer than 1% actually made multi-legged option trades. So very interesting, more advantages uh, with what we do. We're just trading a few indexes, not tracking thousands of ETFs and stocks, uh, efficient margin, and clear cost structure. There's nothing hidden. There's none of this, quote, commission-free nonsense, which doesn't exist. All the options we trade that you just saw are traded on the electronic Globex exchange. Every order is treated equally. There's no payment for order flow nonsense like you get with stocks where they sell your order flow so that someone can capitalize on the, the bid offer spread. 
Um, there's no such thing as commission-free. Robinhood customer orders were executed at prices inferior to other brokers. So they say it's commission-free, but you're getting poor execution. So none of that with AltaVest. Our cost is five and a quarter round turn all in per option. Now I took this right here from a big box brokerage firm and they say they charge 225, but that's per side. And then they add clearing and exchange fees on top. See, it says plus exchange and clearing and regulatory fees. And they don't detail that right there, but it ends up being higher than what we charge. So our rates are competitive. And Theta Trader performance, everyone trades differently. Everyone has a self-directed account. Everyone accept orders orders differently or that might change orders. So just like anyone with any brokerage firm account, everyone's performance is different. And keep in mind too that everything is net of all trading costs. So everything you saw in Theta Trader is net of all trading cost. And what size of an account? Uh, we suggest a minimum of 10,000. And again, IRAs, individual, joint, corporate, LLC, trust, we can do all of the above. And then just why would you even consider Theta Trader? Well, it may improve diversification and lower portfolio risk. And that's simply because this would be an alternative investment, has a low correlation to traditional investments. Um, someone's asking about, can I use any brokerage for this program? Uh, no, you would use us. AltaVest is the brokerage firm and Theta Trader is our options trading technology that we developed for our clients. So we'd love to have you uh, join us and open an account with us and become a Theta Trader member. Hopefully I answered that question. So what is the risk out there right now? Well, well, won't the Fed save us by lowering rates or are they just winging it? This had to do with something different. I think it had to do with the Fed's dot plots and their projections and how 50% of the time they're right and wrong. <laughs> so it's like a coin toss. But the rate cuts are not good for stocks. So this is interesting here. Um, here's a rate cut and a big drawdown in stocks. Another rate cut, stocks drop and so on and so forth. Another big rate cut down, down. So every time there's a rate cut, here's another chart here. You know, you see rates dropping, 41% drop in stocks. Rates drop, 55% drop in stocks. So on and so forth. What's going to happen next? I don't know. But rate cuts are not good for stocks, folks. Um, so when they actually happen, they're happening because things are terrible. <laughs> um, not because things are great. And then you've got inflation here, purchasing power of our dollar, or stagflation. That means no economic growth but inflation is still high. Here's earnings are actually negative in the last three, four years when you account for inflation. This poor guy has got the uh, head barely above water with the inflation shark chasing him. But here's the Fed Reserve Survey, the beige book that just came out yesterday. Five of the 12 districts report flat or declining economic activity, generally sour about the next six months and downbeat about the next six months. So I don't know, folks, uh, not to say it's into the world, but I'm not sure we can all rely on the stock market just soaring higher every day. Leading economic indicator index uh, down 14.7% from its peak. Uh, such a drop happened only during recessions. And the new figure came out today. It's still negative. Another negative print. Um, here's what it looks like anytime you get in this green zone here. It's not good for stocks. So, or recession is soon around the corner. But anyway, that's the whole point I'm trying to say is these strategies that we have available in Theta Trader don't rely on just being bullish. You can maneuver, you can be bullish, bearish, non directional, very flexible. So, just to review the benefits, um, you've got the bull bear non directional strategies available. We're not day trading or stock picking. You don't always have to choose up or down direction, try to trade the chop. And why why don't we day trade? A lot of studies suggest there's less than a 1% success rate over a five-year period of time. That's according to quantifiedstrategies.com. And this, this made me laugh. So here's some technical analysis. Uh, according to my calculations, the stock market will fluctuate today. So not to say we can't look at charts, but if you're always trying to look at charts and determine when to buy and when to sell. Um, 
that's not always an easy thing to do. That's why we like a lot of these non-directional strategies as well. There's a wide margin of error oftentimes on the non-directional strategies. You have 750 points in this example between the calls and the puts that are being sold. Uh, here's a time saver. How about this? Who has time to spend 10 to 12 hours a day consumed by the market? This guy says he's an options day trader using a technical approach. So none of us have that kind of time. And data trader allows you to diversify it's an alternative asset class, mostly non-correlated to the S&P, offering absolute return possibilities. And another, I guess you could say, comment on the stock market, according to the Warren Buffett indicator, um, it's at its highest level ever, meaning stock market is most overvalued in history. So it's basically, you look at the stock market uh, and GDP ratio. So something to keep in mind. And even the S&P 500 index itself, it's not as diversified as you might think. This would be as of uh, end of June, the top five stocks made up 29% of the S&P 500 uh, market cap. So not a lot of diversification going on. And 40% of the S&P 500 stocks are down year to date. And that's from July 9. So it's probably not, well, probably a little bit different, but not a whole lot you can see here. So if you're in the S&P 500, you know, really there's only five or six stocks that have been providing for the gains. So just keep in mind, Wall Street uses option spreads. She says here an option spread is the buying and selling of different contracts, a common way for investors to hedge risk and volatility. And it's usually cheaper because you can offset your cost uh, by the proceeds from different contracts. So she's absolutely correct. And it's been used by Wall Street professionals for decades. All right, so just to summarize the Theta Trader membership here, you get all of the algo-driven software features. You get the trade alerts, the automated uh, exit with the RTI, personal coaching. Keep in mind, you know we're experienced and we're licensed and you'll be able to chat with us and we'll be able to coach you along the way. So five easy steps, you just uh, use that link or that QR code and then we'll get you the login credentials. You'll receive an email with how to open your account and fund your account and then you can begin accepting trade alerts. So here's again that QR code, here is the link. So we wanna help you control your emotions. Thought that was kind of funny. So even though I'm not sure what, what movie that's from, although maybe that's a Harry Potter movie, right? Someone can tell me, haven't seen those. But so just to summarize, you get algo-driven options trades delivered right to you. Strategies are bullish and bearish and non-directional, so very flexible. And you have that trade simulator available to you as well. You can go backwards in time, test out any period of time or any strategy, see how that would have performed. You have the one-touch trade alerts coming to your phone comes to your email, also populates your dashboard on ThetaTrader. So here's how it looks coming to an email. Here's on your dashboard, just like we saw earlier. And then coming to your phone, you'll just get that uh, text message, you touch that link, and then it takes you right to the page and you just accept it. That's all you have to do, or you can change the quantity and accept it too. All right, first 25 new members, we'd love to have you on board and We've got people lined up, ready to chat with you. You can always chat with me if I'm busy or not available. Someone else will pick up the phone and we can help you out, get you started, answer any questions. And let's see if there's anything else along the way that I didn't cover in the, in the questions here in the chat. If you want to elaborate, someone again asked, how did you do today? Feel free to elaborate and ask me more specifically. I'm not sure what that reference is. And I do believe I asked the question about, answer the question about which brokerage firm. Well, AltaVest is the brokerage firm. So ThetaTrader is built and designed for our clients and it's all integrated with your AltaVest trading account.
see if there's anything else that I missed. I don't see anything else. So, David, do you think there's any other comments or questions that you're seeing there? Or I I think that's it. So, yeah, thanks for being here again. So, a lot of good info again from this event. And, uh, yeah, for everyone listening, be sure to check out this offer. Like you said, this is their lowest price ever. I was able to convince him to give a special discount for all our timing research members. And uh, yeah, you can get access to this immediately at timingresearch.com slash AltaVest. That'll take you to the sign-up page or you can give Eric a call or send him an email uh, with the info on, on the screen. So yeah, that's, that's it for today. Uh, if you want to review this presentation, I will have it posted to Timing Research as soon as I can get it processed. And uh, Thank you again for to Eric, <clears throat> excuse me, to Eric Gebhardt of AltaVest.com for being here today. No, that was great. Uh, thanks for having me again. And that is true. You, you uh, did convince me to go with that lowest <laughs> price ever. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, anyway, but yeah, just want to welcome anyone to give us a call. We're real people, and that's a really uh, large distinction between us, I think, and others. We're not just a uh, kind of a a faceless online only type of uh, environment here. So we'd be glad to chat with you and help you along the way. All right. Sounds good. Thanks, Eric. Okay. Thanks, David. Bye-bye. Thanks, everyone.